so I'm next to Brown Creek, and there's a couple of these signs. Um, but today I actually have time, a little bit of time to read one of them. And I didn't realize that Brown Mountain Creek had a farming community. Um, that was, it says, it was a unique community in, the, in that the inhabitants were freed slaves. Here living as sharecroppers, they raised tobacco, oats, wheat, and corn. Former resident, Mr. Taff Hughes, explained how the sharecroppers paid rent. And it goes on and on and on. And then in the 1920s, they sold their land to the Forest Service. But yeah, I guess you're supposed to be able to see some remnants around here of like old houses and whatnot, but I don't think you see much more than just a few logs. Or I'm not logs, but rocks and whatnot. But um so it's a little after six thirty. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> my camera. Um so got a camp, it's a twenty two mile day. Um, trying to do around 12 before 12 but we have some really big hills coming up so we'll see how that goes um, but yeah um, I don't really know what to say I'm tired like I got up at like 4 something to get out of camp by 6 something and because I had set up my tent it takes me a little bit longer and plus, my clothes were wet from that thunderstorm yesterday, so I was, like, really slow this morning because I don't want to put on wet clothes and stuff, even though they're going to dry out today. It's supposed to be really nice up in the 90s the last time I checked. Um, but, yeah, just doing my own thing. And Lighthouse and Turbo are ahead of me, which is nice. I really enjoy their company um, when I get into shelters and whatnot, so I'm excited to see them if they can make it the whole way to the shelter. If I can make it the whole way to the shelter. But yeah, I'm going to get off of this and get going. So today I'm going to the pre-shelter. And it is 20 miles away. We are on top of a bald. Oh, wrong way for the view. <laughs> yeah, the first like um, it was called Bald Knob, and we got um to the top of it. Lighthouse and Turbo just left. Like I was hiking with them, but you know we summited the same area not too long ago, and um, it's called Bald Knob. But the thing with the balds is they're not supposed to be covered in trees. <laughs> They were kind of frustrated when they got to the top and there was like no view whatsoever. But then there was a view here, so they took a snack break and well, we all did, so that was nice. But yeah, today's beautiful. It's supposed to get hotter. There's a nice breeze up here, though. I actually like it hot. I li <laughs> the hotter the better. <laughs> um, but then I know like everybody else that's around me is like totally suffering and just like not having a great time. <laughs> But, for me, I really like it. So, sorry. There's, like, not a sweat bee, but kind of like a sweat bee on me. They sting. I don't like these kind. Um, I won't kill them, but, unless they bite me. <laughs> Anyways, so, doing good. I am almost seven miles into my 22-mile day, so that is really awesome. I'm on pace. Um, meaning, like... I'm still doing two miles per hour, so, like, I have certain little goals during a long day that I like to hit as far as time-wise and distance-wise, and that's really awesome. So the big hills today so far haven't slowed me down too much, but yeah, I'm going to get off of this and get down to water because I need to fill up, and I got about a mile or so to get down there, so that's cool, but I will see you soon. Bye. So, I don't know why, but today, right now, at least for the past, like, couple of hours, this has been, like, the most perfect day so far for, like, hiking for me. Like, everything's going super well. My pace is, like, super fast. 
um, the train isn't even that, like, flat or anything, actually. <laughs> um, but, like, everything's just, like, clicking well. Everything is just, like, awesome. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Like, apparently, I really love hot weather. <laughs> because my body is just, like, yes. We are on 100% go, go, go. And, like, naturally. And, like, I don't have to, like stress or anything i don't know how to describe it it's like the most perfect hiking day so far and it's amazing i don't know how to describe it just everything is like a hundred percent on and awesome and then what's even better is i met nightwalker today and his family is doing trail magic tomorrow i am so excited like i'm going to devil's backbone to camp and stuff and of course i'm gonna probably eat at devil's backbone too but like I'm so excited to have trail magic because we haven't had it in a while because like most people think that there aren't really any hikers after the two big bubbles go through. Well, there's a small bubble that starts at the last week of April and the early week of May, like probably around 50 to 100 people. And right now there's like around, like I said, 20 to 25 of us coming through at the moment. We all caught up to each other. So like... It is so awesome to have community trail magic again. Like, you have no idea. But yeah, for some reason, today has just been, like, so far, just, like, amazing. And I have, like, about eight miles left for the day. Like, still kind of a long-ish. But, like, I don't care. Like, today is so great. <laughs> Sorry. It's just, like, usually my days lately have been just, like, not necessarily struggle. Just, like, focus on the trail, get your miles in, blah, 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 blah. And I'm still doing that, focusing on the trail, get my miles in, but it's just, like, fantastic. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get going because I'm having such a good time right now. <laughs> and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.